Hi boys. Today is our topic is how to draw and do watercolor of a bun or you can call it heart also. An old heart. So for the drawing I am using here two B pencil and I am making very soft line for my drawing because uh, after water coming after finishing my watercolor I don't want to see my pencil lines. So that's why as soft as possible, as lighter as possible, I am finishing the drawing. Now I am having a flat brush and I am pre-weighting the paper because uh, I am going to start the painting with the sky. So here I pre-weight the paper and then I made a violet color by mixing crimson which is red and ultramarine blue. And uh, I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre. So, and, uh, and you can see uh, somewhere I'm leaving paper white just to get an effect of clouds. And basically, this painting, this watercolor, I'll do on uh, artistic manner. Artistic means there is two kinds of paintings. Which one is realistic, one is artistic. One is called artistic. So this is artistic way um, that I am showing you today that watercolor so so for the sky I use violet little bit of yellow color so here after finishing the uh, sky I am working on the mid ground which is uh, you can see that I am coloring the hills behind the house to color the hills I use uh, blue and green after that I am working on the foreground which is our ground so here I am putting the yellow color and basically I am all over putting the first tone the meaning of first tone that you have to cover the paper white so I am just covering the paper white this is the under painting after that uh, this is the first layer after that we put the second layer there, uh, the second layer is uh, more vital for a painting and you see that that heart I am coloring, which I am using uh, yellow ochre, little, little bit of pine grey, and the bun shell. So, boys, as I already told you, that we are making this painting in the manner of artistic way. So, so I want to create a grassy field. For that, for that reason, I am putting first the yellow ochre on the foreground uh, I use a flat brush so make, to make some uh, brush marks now I am mixing uh, shampoo and bunchiana to make it darker then I am putting the darker values to get the depth so you can see there is a uh, uh, it's, it's only the brush marks I am using big brush marks to create a grassy effect and that is my uh, intention. So, <clears throat> after I finish the ground, now I am working on a tree which is behind the house. For that tree, I am using the same scheme of green, which is shared green. I mix with the brown shader to make it darker. And here, I am using a normal brush. Most probably, this is number 8. And this time, I am using dry brush. Means uh, my brush has a lot of pigment of colors and less amount of water. So, I am using the dry brush here. And, and here, I am using the darker values, which is pine gray and dark blue to get the volume. So now <coughs> I am working on the second layer. You can see I am using uh, shampoo, new shampoo, and a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue. And to make this little bit darker, I use pine spray. Again, you can see ultramarine blue. This is the second layer. So whatever color I put as a first layer, I am going to use the darker version of the same color. So even uh, now I am coming to the foreground again. 
uh, it means the pine screen and branch screen. Huh? Here you can see to make it. My second layer you can see. My second layer is darker than the first layer. So slowly, slowly we will go to darker. We will uh, increase the contrast of the painting. So now I think this is the perfect situation to work on our subjects. So you can see I start coloring the house. I put the burnt shell first. Then here I am using pine screen to this is the gradation of the colors. Then I am making the color it will light up with pure water. And same here I am using the drying brush strokes. And you can see here I'm using a round brush, the eight number brush. So <clears throat> now to create the effect of door and windows, I'm using pine gray with burnt sienna. You can see this is my ultimate darker values. The darkest dark. Continuously working on the round brush. Here I am using the black and this side I want to make it more darker to get the contrast, nice darker shade. Here I am using the pine spray, now putting a little bit of burn shade. Same thing to get the uh, gradation of color or it will look the same color, it looks boring. So sometimes we have to mix little bit, we have to introduce little bit different different colors. So you can see here I am using the pencil ruler to scratch out some highlights highlights sketching out some highlights which is fence or something like that so here I am using a rigger brush or you can call it liner to get the fine lines like branches of the trees so I am using the liner that means we are almost uh, this is the last step detail work working on the final details you can see I like to pull and little paints here and there the balancing state after finishing the painting we have to balance the painting so you can see here again I am drawing some fins my dry, uh, dry brush works that means uh, my brush has lot of colors less water and <coughs> after that I use little bit of white most probably to highlight some lightest light Wherever I miss the light, that place I use uh, fabric white color to get the lightest light. You can see here and there a little bit of white. So we are almost done. So this is our final piece. So I hope you people uh, will learn something by seeing this video that I made for you people. Thank you.